Working with references in AutoCAD is an excellent way of overlaying information. One of the other benefits is that other people can be working on those drawings that you're referencing in, those XREFs that I mentioned. So basically, you can see the topography, you can see the contour lines there, and you know that that's a reference file brought into the current drawing. So somebody can be working on that topography file while you're working on the detail here on the ground floor of, say, your building that you're going to place into that topography later on. Now, your references are very, very easy to manage. They're on the Insert tab. And on the Insert tab, what you'll find in AutoCAD is a lot of tools that allow you to work with references here in your reference panel. Now, you'll notice you've got a flyout menu, which we'll cover in detail as we start looking at working with references. You can see that we can edit a reference, we can fade it, and so on. You'll also notice a little arrow here, and if you're familiar with text styles or dimension styles, if you click there, that opens up your reference palette. And now you can see there's our current drawing right there, the one with the drawing icon, the blue and yellow. These two here are DWGs with a little paper clip on. They are your reference drawings or your XREFs. If I expand this across a little bit, you can see there that we've got a footprint foundation and we've also got topography. And if I hover over each one, can you see there that we're getting a little preview, a little thumbnail? Now I'm going to show you how to utilize these XREFs and how to work with them in an AutoCAD drawing during this course. They're very, very easy to use. And the major benefit, as I mentioned, is someone else can be working on those reference drawings, even though they're already in your current drawing. More importantly, most reference drawings that you bring into your current drawing are only about 10% of their original size when they're brought in as an XREF. If you brought all that data in and then kept it in your drawing, instead of using it as an XREF, it would obviously be a lot bigger and it would make your current drawing file much larger. So not only are you saving space, but you're also democratizing the workflow by allowing other people to work on different components of your design. So as we start working with references, you'll see how all that works as we go through the course.